to Los Angeles, a city with bright lights and a dream for everyone. An artificial oasis in the middle of the damn desert. It was the summer of 21 and I was running a small YouTube channel down south from AnimeTube, right off of the border of vlogging and booktube. I had been flying solo for a while and I was just starting to make some creator friends out in Los Angeles. These are the memories of that time. A time of making things, making friends, making videos, and making memories. I know this. I know this YouTube thing is weird, right? Awkward. This, 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 this feels like the, so the, awkward. the YouTube thing is weird. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Boogie Snacks. You can go ahead and call me Boogie. And today we are going on a manga shopping adventure. Yeah! We had to get coffee before this, so as you can see, we made sure to get coffee, which you're probably <laughs> seeing right now. Mm-hmm. Bring, bring. <laughs> and that's the crazy thing about being at a park like this is mm -hmm. like, this was a home. Yeah. What's that over there? That's the home. Oh. And then they turned it into a historical park. Damn. So there's no one lives there. And you oh, can take cool. tours of, of the park. And yeah. then they have the tangerine orchard and whatnot. Like. Oh, cute. It's not tangerines. What's the smaller ones? Clementine? Uh, I, I think, think they're so. called clementines. Mm -hmm. The plan for today is we are going to go manga shopping again in Little Tokyo. I'm taking Taylor on a little uh, Tokyo, little I'm Tokyo excited. adventure. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. You're an otaku. Mm hmm. Uh, you do some cosplays. You're just now getting I into do, cosplays yeah. on stream. I'm just now getting into cosplays. I just did Triss from The Witcher, but I have more anime cosplays planned soon. So okay. So you stream on Twitch. Mm-hmm. Tell me about it. Um, so I'm a late night variety streamer. So basically, I start at 9 p.m. or later uh, Pacific Standard Time, and uh, yeah, we're just kind of a little degenerate, a little all over the place, <laughs> but uh, it's a good time. Some of my favorite manga are probably Dora Hidoro, Jujutsu Kaisen, yes. Chainsaw Man, and then some more like romance stuff like Wotakoi is amazing, Yon of the Dawn, like yeah, just kind of all over the place. So we're gonna go get in the car, hop on the freeway, and we got a little bit of a drive, mm -hmm. but I will see you guys at Little Tokyo. Okay, talk soon. All right, guys, so we have made it here to Little Tokyo yet again. I have Taylor with me. Have you ever been manga shopping in Little Tokyo? No, never. Okay, so we're gonna go to uh, Anime Jungle. We went here with Chris. If you guys know Chris, he's a friend of the channel, but today we're taking Taylor. Store is gonna be like to the left over here, and then on the right hand side is gonna be the Funko Pop store. Now, the line didn't take long at all, and we quickly found our way inside of the store, and the manga shopping began. Now, I believe life is about the little things, and the little things here are finding a manga volume in the real world. It gives the memory something to tether to in the back of our minds. And something we can recall later when we see the volumes on our shelf. We'll remember the time when we saw it on the shelf in the store and who we bought it with and finding the volume and opening it up and seeing the pages for the first time. It truly is something special. Thank you. 
I can't believe that they had a volume 3 of Barakumon. I've been trying to complete this series forever, and I nabbed the last one in the store. Thank you, dude. Did you have volume 2? No, just number 1. Oh, just number 1, okay. I'm gonna put that on the front row, okay? Okay. Come here, come here, come here. So they have Noragami. I know you guys yeah, in Twitch chat specifically want me to collect this Noragami, but look, empirical data, they don't have volume one. I'm not gonna get Noragami. They don't have volume one. I would if I could. I would if I could. I would if I could. So Taylor is deciding right now if she's gonna get a figure or not. Thank you. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get it. You're really gonna get it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. All right, let's see if everyone's left, okay? Thank you. I have you're, to. You're getting a figure. Uh, it's my first figure. <laughs> like I said, I am true to my word. We did make a return. Now, if you don't know what Anime Jungle is, once again, it is sort of like LA's own little Akihabara. It is a collection of little shops, some pertaining to cosplay, some pertaining to figures, and some pertaining to anime and manga, which is just like the shop we are in today. We get to have some rare finds. We have Taylor, who is buying volume one of Macy Nikoku, which honestly, I highly recommend. If you've seen any one of my manga hauls before this, uh, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of Macy Nikoku, and I actually actually managed to find volume 3 of a series that I'm collecting. I did not expect to find this here, uh, but a random volume 3 of Barakumon. And if you don't know what this series is about, watch one of my previous manga hauls and I go over it. Incredibly underrated series. Well, I don't know if it's underrated, but one you don't hear spoken about enough, in my opinion, on YouTube, okay? We're hungry, so come say hi. What are you being so shy? I think, I think we are hungry, so I yeah, think we're gonna go get some hungry. food. Uh, so I went to Anime Jungle in Little Tokyo and we adventured around there. We ended up having lunch and it was a beautiful time. And then we ended up going to Barnes and Noble. I ended up finding the manga for one of my like obscure favorite food anime that I really hope that you try. And it's right here. Uh, and it's Miss Kozumi Loves Ramen Noodles. And it's so good. Listen, it's one of those food anime you don't hear talked about so much, but it's really, really good. And as I was shopping around, the worker was actually uh, restocking some of the shelves and he happened to pull out volume one and two and I nabbed volume one and volume two. And this was the last two 
in this store. It's one of my favorite food anime, let's just simply put. And the fact that I found the manga there, yes, I was all for it. I didn't even look at the price. I actually don't even know how much I paid for this, you guys. Now the premise of Miss Kazumi Loves Ramen Noodles is actually quite wholesome. We have our main character who is a high school student who absolutely is obsessed about ramen and takes us and a new friend that she makes at the very beginning of the series all across Japan to discover new variations of ramen, how she enjoys ramen herself, and just different perspectives on the ramen culture within Japan and worldwide. Now obviously I can't really speak to the manga since I mean I just bought volumes one and two but I can speak to the anime and it's really well done. At least in my opinion I found the whole thing incredibly charming and really easy to binge watch. Alright so if you've seen any one of my videos before link up above in the upper right hand corner to my most recent manga haul check that one out whenever you have the time you would know that I'm actually hunting a sort of hard to find series that I highly recommend that would be Barakumon. Like a magic little moment this was the last one in the store I believe they had a couple of other volumes, but I had all of those, but this was the last volume three in the store. It's in perfect condition. It's wrapped up. I mean, like, what more could I possibly want for it? You know what, Before, you, let me grab volume one so you can see it. Okay, so this is volume one right here. And this premise basically follows the adventures of this young man who is a professional calligrapher who is living the fast paced life in the big cities here in Japan where it's very competitive. And he finds himself sort of losing his way, so to say. So to combat this, he goes on a self-discovery slash sort of, you know, trying to ground himself journey out in the countryside of Japan where life is dramatically slowed down. And it's sort of about him developing the relationships with the town folks, really getting to know himself and humbling himself and, and sorting out his priorities as a young man. And honestly, if you're into slice of life, and you haven't heard of Barakumon, a great place to start would be the anime, but this is really such a charming series and I highly recommend it to everyone. Now, of course, if you're not into Slice of Life, yeah, this series might not be for you, but if you are and you've never checked out Barakumon, at least do yourself a favor and check out the anime. And I was really surprised to find volume three out in the wild, because right now it's really hard to find these volumes, okay? So yeah, that's Barakumon, let's move on. So let's quickly move on to the last item, which is not really manga, but I got it for my streams. And if you've never checked out my streams before, I actually stream on Twitch, and you can check it out at twitch.tv slash boogiesnackstv. Links to all that will be down below. But I thought it'd be really fun to build this on stream and then I can frame it. But look, I got a little Shanks puzzle. This is actually adorable and it has Shanks here uh, and a little outline of, of Luffy sort of like not as prominent but this thing obviously focuses on Shanks which is one of my all-time favorite characters in One Piece and I thought it'd be pretty cool to build the 300 piece puzzle on stream and then I'll find a place to frame it either in this apartment or uh, where I'm moving shortly. Okay, so that's that and let's quickly move on to what I bought over at Barnes & Noble. Now, I didn't expect Barnes & Noble to to be like as good as it was, but guys, I actually found some stuff that I've been meaning to collect for a while. I bought the first three volumes. I, I will start the series, I promise you guys, but I bought the first three volumes of Noragami. So here's volume one, here is volume two, and here is volume three. Now, like I said before, I don't know much about the series. We're gonna be going into it blind. It's been on my to-do list for a while to check it out, so I figured, you know what, I'm finding it in the wild. And they actually happen to have the volumes like in order, so I bought the first three. So, you know what, it was a sign. So, you know what, I'm gonna start Noragami, okay? It's official, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, you guys. This is Devil is a Part-Timer. Now, I did not expect to find this at Barnes & Noble at all. Dude, Barnes & Noble's manga selection, at least the one near me, blew up. I mean, it's like a lot of manga. Uh, and they actually had a few volumes of Devil as a Part-Timer. And if you don't know anything about this series, it's actually quite a charming, would you call it a comedy or a rom-com maybe, uh, where we have like the devil or a devil himself who is right here, who is sort of getting a job at like a fast food restaurant. It's, it's like a whole convoluted plot. I haven't watched the anime in such a long time. All I know is that we're getting more of the anime. So in preparations for that, I wanted to own at least volume one of this and I'll make the decision. You guys can let me know down below. Do I continue to buy the manga of it? I've heard it's a faithful adaptation to the light novel or do I just dive into the light novels? I know a lot of people had issues with the endings. There's just like so much that I know went on with this series that I'm just not too familiar with. So any information you wanna just drop it down below, I'd be really thankful, okay? 
Now, speaking about light novels, the one I'm reading right now, right now, is Overlord. Okay, now I have volumes five, one to five of Overlord, and this is volume six. And judging by the weight of this, this is by far the beefiest volume of Overlord that I own, which I absolutely love. Now, I've gone over the premise of Overlord a few times here on the channel, but really quickly, it's an isekai done right, in my opinion. So we have a main character who gets trapped in a video game that he's like maxed out level of, and he like runs this amazingly fancy guild with a bunch of really custom NPCs. And right when the servers are about to just be completely finished, the game is officially dead, uh, he's literally logged in to the very last second. And for some reason, when the clock strikes midnight and the servers should be dead, he opens his eyes again to realize he's stuck in the game and the NPCs can have a mind of their own. They've almost come to life. And he's no longer in the video game world, but he's been transported to this mysterious new land with NPCs who can think for themselves and are genuinely sentient and, and alive and own individual beings. And it's just now his adventure trying to find old players or just make sense of what the heck is happening. And from my understanding, it started off as a web novel, I believe, but now it's its own thing uh, or it's been its own thing for a while. And uh, I'm obsessed. I, I, I honestly love it. I have to pace myself actually, um, you know, so that I, I go to sleep at a reasonable time whenever I decide to open up uh, Overlord and I am on volume two right now. Okay, so I, I bought volume six. I saw it in the wild and I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick it up. Let's talk about how I finally am starting Hori Mia. I picked up volumes one and two of Hori Mia and this series is so good. I haven't read the manga yet. I'm really interested in starting the manga and let me know your thoughts and feelings on Hori Mia down below. Now, I'm not going to lie. I was looking for like Jujutsu Kaisen volume one, Chainsaw Man volumes one or any of Chainsaw Man and literally I did not find any of it. And I know a lot of you do have luck finding them in your neighborhood or you know in your state but I didn't I want to collect them I made the effort we did look for them we spent a lot of time looking for them but yeah so that was the only part of the mission that was not successful is I wanted to get some Jujutsu Kaisen volumes one maybe two and Chainsaw Man literally any of it if I can find it but we didn't find any of those all right so I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up here I'd love to do more of these types of videos so let me know if you like these vlog styles of video down below in the comment section and once again I want to give a huge shout out to Taylor for joining me and it's such a cool thing to be in LA and just have a, a bunch of content creators to make friends with and the summer is a time for adventuring and making friends and it's just it was just so cool to, to do that so thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with me links to her of course like I said before many times in the video will be down below in the description box so make sure you show her some love and I think we can go ahead and wrap things up here alright you guys thank you so much for watching today's video if you'd like to go ahead and support the channel go ahead and mash that like button it lets me know that you are watching at home and I can continue to make more content just like this and of course as always nothing has changed if you like to stick around for more content go ahead and mash that subscribe button we would love to have you in the community all right everyone thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video have a good night